Hey everyone, Brian from All Day Ruck Off here, and today we're going to talk about the GORUCK GR3. This is a preview video, and if you haven't seen our preview videos in the past, basically we just go over the pack, talk about what's there, and give a couple insights and opinions on it. It's definitely not a review. We definitely have not taken this traveling on numerous occasions. We've used it, but not to the, the fullest extent that you can use this pack. So with that said, here's the preview video, GORUCK GR3. This pack, as you can see, it's giant. It's got a slant zipper right across the front. And this is you know typical on the GORUCK line of packs. It's on the GR1, the GR2. This thing goes straight to the bottom. So, I mean, this is a ginormous, ginormous front pocket. One thing to note is that since it does go all the way to the bottom, that you want to be careful with putting in a laptop because a small laptop could definitely fit in here, a tablet or a phone, because if you drop it in just right, it could easily hit the ground and, and it might crack. So I'd stay away from putting those in here, but it's a nice, a nice big pocket. As you can tell, look at the front, this one does not have any webbing on it. So this was a pre-ordered GR3, and when we pre-ordered, we were given the option of webbing on the front, side handles, a combination of both, or none of them. And so I went with no webbing on the front, and yes to side handles. And I went with that option because this is a huge pack. I don't imagine myself hanging too many things off of it. I definitely wanted side handles. And when I ordered, webbing on the front, yes. Side handles, yes, was by far the most popular option. So I knew if they were going to keep one around, it would be that. And I figured this was probably the, the only chance I had, possibly, at getting this pack. I do think they are offering it in this variant right now, so... That's good for you if you like it. So front of it, like we mentioned, the big, big zipper pocket and the, the nice two inch tall by three inch wide patch area. Briefly looking at the bottom of the pack, you'll notice that there's two rows of webbing with four columns. And this is incredibly wide, two inch, you know, uh, webbing sewn in here. So this isn't the typical one inch. And you can use this to attach a GORUCK GR3 Tough Bag, which we were got a discount on when we pre-ordered this pack. So I've got one of those. It works pretty well. You can also you know, just run some one inch webbing or two inch webbing even through here and attach maybe a sleeping bag, cinch in a coat, you know, something like that. You can, you can have straps made that will work, that will work with this, so. It doesn't add any extra height to it, and it's it's definitely nice to have it on there. Going to the side, just see that there's, there's no webbing, but there is this nice grab handle. And I'm a huge fan of these grab handles. If you're traveling with this thing, it's gonna end up in the trunk, it's gonna end up in overhead. It's nice to have just different places to grab it from, so you're, you can get it with one hand and pull it out. You probably notice that there's these buckles hanging off the front. There's two on each side. They attach to these buckles on the back right here. And this is so that you can you can cinch the pack in. So it's a just a deep, a deep pack. And it's nice if you're not using all the room to be able to, to cinch some of it in. It's still going to look huge because this bottom piece does not cinch or fold. It's fairly thick. And so at best, you're going to have this cinched in and you're still going to have the wide the wide base. So you're not going to get this thing looking small at all. But it's, it's nice to have those compression straps. So looking at the back here, shoulder straps, very padded. If you're used to GORUCK packs, you know how much padding's in these things. It's got the, the standard back that we've come to expect, 1000D Cordura. These little, little sew lines, not too much ventilation, so this will probably heat up your back quite a bit. 
The major difference on this compared to the other Gorak line of packs is right in here. It's got an opening and there's Velcro on the inside. And what that's for is this. This is a padded hip belt that comes with the Gorak GR3. So you can slide this in and you've got a, an integrated hip belt. We're gonna flip these over real quick. You can see there is a zipper here and this zipper goes right into the laptop area. So this thing runs nearly, nearly all the way to the bottom. It stops right about here. It's called a false bottom and Gorak has got those on their packs. So if you drop your laptop in here, it's gonna hit this padded area and it's not gonna hit the ground. So it's gonna keep your laptop safe. This is a, a giant back and the entire area is available for your laptop. So you should have no problem fitting whatever laptop you've got in this. Flip the shoulder straps back around. Go to the other side here. It's got the nice grab handle. The top of the pack has a grab handle as well. It was the side grab handles that were the add-on. So if you get one without the grab handles, it's still gonna have the top handle right here. In addition to having the handle on top, it does have a spot right here that can open up and a hydration uh, bladder hose can come out. So you can, you can run hydration through this, have the hose come out down one of the shoulder straps and use something like an ITW Grimlock to attach it in place. And I'll put a video in the description on how to use those because we've recently shot one of those videos. Getting into this pack, we've got two zippers. This thing clamshell opens, which is awesome. This is a 45 liter pack. It's massive. It's a massive pack. I think I've said that a number of times so far. This thing is huge. The ideal use case here, to me at least, is to travel with this thing, keep all your clothes in it, keep everything you need, and then use it as a home base. So keep at the hotel, you know, put this thing on the bed, open it up, get out whatever you need, and go about your day. So ideally, if I was using this to travel, I would have another pack in there. As you can see here, giant clamshell opening, huge fan of it. We'll start here on this side, three pockets, which is not typical for Gorak packs. Generally, they've got the standard pocket on top and then one mesh pocket here. This one's split into two areas. And that's nice because this has one giant mesh area, everything would just fall to the bottom. So you've got more usable space. The one negative part is that a traditional wire dop from Gorak will not fit in here. So you're gonna have to throw the wire dop in the front. Totally fine, but just something to consider. We've got the, the label right here. It says Gorak GR3 made in the USA first run, which is pretty cool. All the pre-orders have the, the first run label and it's kind of a funny story now, probably not so much at the time, but the packs are actually delayed because of those first run labels. Getting into the inside here, you can see Velcro, top to bottom. It's, it's really nice. If you've got Velcro pouches, perfect for this. If you don't have Velcro pouches, you can buy Velcro tape and you can turn non-Velcro pouches into Velcro pouches. You can buy attachments that you can attach to pouches via Molly that will turn them into Velcro pouches. Lots of options to use this. So excited about this. There's two rows of webbing, which you can use to attach pouches to or slide a pen through. You know, Molly is very versatile, so it's nice to have those in there. And this actually mirrors the new GR1 shooter inside, so it seems like Gorak's moving this way for their shooter gear. You've got a D ring at the top, which we talked about with the bladder. You can just put a carabiner in here, attach your bladder, route the hose right up here through the top. It's nice. The other big thing about the inside of the pack 
is this bottom right here. So I'm gonna flip this over so you can see it better. It's elastic straps, two of them on the bottom. What are they used for? If you're bringing your belt with you and you don't want to wear it you know, through the pack, you can use those straps to store it in. In addition, if you're lucky enough to own a Goruck Shadow Rock, if you even know what that is, it's an awesome pack. Goruck Shadow Rocks, they were released in three sizes. I've got the SD25, which is the 25 liter version. And one second, I'm gonna grab it right now. Here it is, SD25. This thing is awesome. It's just like a GR1, except the shoulder straps aren't as padded. It doesn't have a frame sheet and there's a, just a lot less fabric used in it. And why is that awesome? You can just roll this thing out and you can shove it in the bottom. And so you can take the giant GR3, this 45 liter pack traveling with you, and then you can use this 25 liter shadow ruck as a breakaway. And go ruck, I know you watch the videos, I know you listen to the podcast, please consider bringing back these shadow rucks. They're really cool, and I think they fall right in line with the GR3 and the whole idea of using this thing as a base camp and then using a, a tearaway ruck. If you don't have an SD ruck, there's bullet rucks that Goruck sells, and they work very well as well. So grabbing one of those. This is one of the original ones. The newer ones have a, a thicker padded bottom, but this will still work for the example. Just keep it right in here as a tearaway pack pack around it when you get to your destination use the bullet ruck for your you know your everyday carry because you're, you're not going to want to carry around this giant gr3 everywhere you go it is huge i know i've said it so many times how big this pack is so i just want to show you how big it it truly truly is what you're looking at here is go ruck gr2 40 liters on my left Goruck GR3 45 liters on my right. And because the 45 liter ruck is just a single pocket, you can do this. Yes, the an entire 40 liter GR2 fits inside the GR3. So if you're someone who is trying to figure out if the 34 liter GR2 or the 40 liter GR2 is right for you, the 41 just doesn't look good on you because it's it's huge, you know, you're not 6'2 like I am or 6'5 like Jason is, then when you're looking for the GR3, just think about this again. The GR2 fits inside the GR3, so that GR3 is going to look huge on you. It's a big pack. So, as you can see, the GR2 fully zips up inside the GR3, and there's still room. Still plenty of room to spare. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We just did a quick preview on the GORUCK GR3, what it has to offer, use cases for it, and if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it on YouTube, would really appreciate that. If you like our videos and this style of video, please subscribe, would truly, truly appreciate that. Don't forget, attitude is everything, keep yours positive, and drink hard, rock harder.